My name is uh, Roger Shippen. Fight 135, going up to fight 145. I am fighting at a rain training center, um, also 10th Planet Costa Mesa, and also under Marco Huas from Huas Valley Tudo. I got an MMA, but I didn't really like take it seriously. I had like shitty coaching, you know? I just didn't have the right people around me. I'm just making bad decisions, doing drugs and partying, abusing some substances. And one of the moms from my gym um, was actually having a talk with me and some of the people and she said she thought I was gonna die. So that kind of made me a little bit, you know, a little bit nervous. Um, just cause at the time she looked at me and she said, I just had nothing in my eyes. I just it was like blank. It all changed when I fought Harris Sarmientos in the Philippines. Uh, I took that fight. They flew me out to Thailand. I got clean and actually was detoxing in Thailand and then ended up fighting him. I actually lost that fight, but that loss helped me out. It kind of made me realize it's something I really want to do. And I won my last 10 straight and just looking to go from there, you know? All my personal stuff that I've had that I've dealt with has made me kind of the fighter I am. It kind of made me want it a little bit more. Um, just kind of show people, you know, I'm not a loser, you know? That's what really kind of makes me want it, you know, just to show everybody that they're wrong. And you can't judge a book by its cover and just because somebody has like a fucked up past or they've done stuff, you know, as long as they're trying to change their life and, and go forward with it. And you shouldn't judge them on that. You should embrace them and lift them up. I'm just trying to clean my life up, you know, I want to do something with it. I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, you know, be one of those guys that are like a bomb. Like, oh man, I could have done this. Or like in jail, like, oh, I could have done this. I just kind of want to tell people and show people kind of what I went through just so they don't kind of go down that same path. You know, like I said, I looked up to the wrong people and I, I wanted to be like people that I knew, my friends, you know, ran around, sold drugs, you know, did the whole gang thing. That was my idea of what I had because I never really was good in school. I never really was one of those people. I just wanted to run around and do what the fuck I wanted to do. And I wasn't trying to hear nobody's mouth about it. Um, and it didn't really work out that good. When I look back on it, I messed up a good portion of my life trying to have too much fun. I spar with all these UFC guys, I spar with all these guys and I hang and I just decided I want something better for my life. So I, this whole year I've just been just pushing, 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 trying to get fights and just stay busy. And I finally have an opportunity you know, to fight like a pretty decent guy and I got, like I said, I got good coaches with, uh, with the boys from 10 Planet. I was looking for a place to you know, call home and to feel kind of like I had a coach. I wanted to find a gym where I felt comfortable and at home and Casey and Andy both kind of opened the doors and just have been kind of a blessing for me personally. Um, just with the way they teach um, and the way they kind of uplift me when I'm training and just the things they do and just the whole, like I said, the whole tent planet atmosphere is just it fits me a lot better. I've been to a lot of gyms, you know, I've been to gyms in Australia, I've been to gyms in Thailand, kind of all over. And me personally, just the atmosphere that they provide is, is perfect. It's nice to have like, like I know Casey's gonna be there. Like I know certain people are gonna be there now, which is nice. A little bit weird, cause I'm not used to having like cornermen, so to say, and that kind of stuff. I'm still trying to get used to following directions, but. Like it's nice, you know, knowing somebody's there that cares about you, win or lose, you know. So that's like, that's a good feeling, you know. Just want to keep going, you know, until I get to a bigger show. I know I can do it, I just gotta, you know. MMA and where I'm at right now with my coaches in school kind of helps me stay on that right path. I'm just happy to be alive, as weird as that sounds, you know. Because the way I was going probably wasn't gonna be around for too long. Um, yeah, so I mean, I like where life is right now. Like I said, I still, I'm like up and down. I'm like, as much as I like to have fun, and as much as I do that, I still have to battle like with my own kind of like self, so to say, with not going out and not running around. And when I get upset and not taking that easy way out and just going and having a drink or doing that kind of stuff, you know? So, the way I look at it is, if I would have made better decisions, got to a better gym quicker, not wanted to go out and party, and not wanted to run the streets, could probably be in the UFC right now.
instead. I'm fighting on little shows, which I'm still thankful for. But I feel as if I really just grind these next, you know, year or two out, I can be on a bigger show. The people can say what they want, but I know in my heart that if I do everything I'm supposed to do, that I can be there.